Morning, welcome to this week's video. Apologies, full of cold this week. So we've got another pack raft today, so we are literally turning into the pack raft review channel. So today we've got this tiny, tiny little pack raft here, packed up to just over about a kilo in weight here with an absolute brilliant, unique way of storing your gear inside. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Amphibio Nano RT7. So we'll take a look at the RTC, so the roll top closure. Now this does two things for me. One, it allows me to store gear inside the pack raft, and two, it gives you the ability to adjust how much buoyancy is at the bow or at the stern of the pack raft. If you inflate this pack raft with this wrapped up all of the way, then you're not gonna have as much buoyancy. But if you're like me and you're quite a big old lad and you need a bit more buoyancy, the best way to do it is to do to roll this up with four minimum, this is the minimum amount of rolls that you can do with this seal here clip it back up, inflate it, and that gives you a load more buoyancy so you can just flip the pack raft around and have the RTC at the butt end of the pack raft and then you've got a load more buoyancy. Now looking at the RTC, it looks like your standard sort of dry bag here, but inside of the pack raft, you've got this, you can see the TPU and that really does stick together and that helps to make it seal. You need to be able to roll this up as wrinkle free as you possibly can and with a minimum of four rolls to get an airtight seal before you actually clip that together. Right, what we'll do first is we'll get this inflated, we'll roll it all the way up so you can see the length of the pack rough with the RTC fully closed, and then uh, we'll have a look at increasing the length. So let's get this rolled up. So to seal the roll top closure, just basically close it over, you fold the webbing over, you need to make sure you've got no wrinkles or as little wrinkles as you possibly can. And remember that you need a minimum of four rolls to create an airtight seal. So there we go. So that's the Nano RTC inflated with the roll top closure closed as much as it gets. What I'll do is I'll just deflate this a little bit. We'll extend this open and then you can see the difference that having this fully open, what that does to the buoyancy at this side of the pack graph. So that's one roll, two, three, and four and we'll just clip that together and let's inflate again so using the max boat pump by flextail gear i can inflate this boat to 1.4 psi really really easily so there we go as you can see just by using the minimum of four rolls there we've got an airtight seal on the roll top closure we've gained loads more buoyancy at the back of the pack raft and also loads more space to carry gear inside as well right let's get a seat in and let's take it out for a paddle so the seat i've got here is just a standard amphibio seat it's not the best seat to be using in this pack raft i'd recommend using the pack seat i'll stick a link to that in the description below there because that gives you more back support because you are limited with back support on this pack raft here. What a lot of people do if they're using this as a lightweight pack raft to cross waters or go out to islands and things, they're actually sitting on camping mats or pillows and things like that. But we'll get this in and then uh, let's have a look at some of the specifications. So specifications of the Nano RTC, as I said before, the boat itself, it weighs just over a kilo. Uh, the inner length of the pack raft, you've got a, width, uh, a length of 120 centimetres with a width of 34 centimetres. And the outer length, it ranges from 205 centimetres to 230 centimetres. And that depends on how much of the roll top closure is used for buoyancy. So as I said before, the Nano RTC weighs just over a kilo. And the way that the weight's kept down on this is there's only three pieces of fabric used in the design of this boat. Most pack rafts have got 11 different pieces of fabric that are then stitched glued or heat sealed so that all builds up on weight so we've got three pieces of fabric of 210 uh, internally uh, coated tpu so it's not shiny on the outside it's shiny on the inside that we saw when we had a look at the rtc so that's how this has managed to keep the weight down as much as possible so looking at the bottom of this you can see that the actual floor is raised above the tubes here so that's something you need to think about as well so gear loops on the nano rtc this boat is ambidextrous as we said so you can paddle the bow as the stern or the stern as the bow so you've basically got four gear loops on each end of the boat there you've also got loops inside the pack raft so you can attach the seat onto the pack raft as well so that doesn't disappear somewhere along the line there 
Right, so pretty much all ready. Just gonna get my jacket on. You can really see how much extra buoyancy we've gained by uh, leaving the RTC open as much as we can here. So uh, we'll take it for a short little paddle. We'll come back, we'll let some air out, and then we'll see what it looks like then. So there we go, so this is the Nano RTC, and I think it's a great little pack raft, I really, really do. Initially I thought it would be just a pack raft just to make, you know, small sort of river crossings and things like that, but um, you know, as long as you're comfortable in it, I think it would be a really nice little pack raft to paddle for a good amount of time. So you can see that the Nano RTC paddles really, really well by utilizing the extra buoyancy at the stern there it actually sits really nicely. When I used this for the first time and I had it all round the other way and it was wrapped up at the front there, I was really, really back heavy and it was really, really uncomfortable to paddle. But uh, now it's actually really, really nice to paddle with that extra bit of buoyancy at the back there. And you can see there's absolutely tons and tons of room inside of here. The only thing I'm missing is a little bit of back support, but if I had the pack seat or I could shove a camping pillow behind me there, it would be a little bit better. But this is an absolute beaut to paddle. Right, so let's go and change it slightly. Let's go and roll up the RTC fully. Uh, we'll flick the pack raft around and I'll show you the difference in the stern if you're using it fully rolled up. Right then, so what we'll do is um, we'll just deflate this a little bit and then we'll fully roll up the RTC, inflate it again using the, uh, using the max boat pump and then you'll see a massive difference. So there we go, so that's the RTC inflated with the roll top closure pretty much rolled up all of the way. And as you can see, that pack raft's pretty much symmetrical, isn't it? There's probably a little bit more buoyancy in the back here. So we'll swap the seat around and uh, we'll take it out and I'll just show you the difference that actually having that RTC area fully inflated does when you're paddling uh, from that end. So this is the difference with a Nano having the RTC fully rolled. You can see that the stern here is really, really low in the water and the bow is, is uh, quite raised as well. And what that's actually doing is that position is actually bringing my back forward, which is really making it pretty much uncomfortable. I'm sure that would be a lot different if I had a better seat in the back here, but uh, I did find this position quite difficult to paddle for a long duration. So I've paddled this pack raft a few times now, and the first couple of times I thought, oh, it's brilliant, you know, it's lightweight, you can shove all your gear inside of it, it's packable, it's a brilliant little thing for something like, you know, a, a river crossing or paddling out to an island for, an, for, a, for a secluded camp, and, and, that, and that's that. Um, you know, it's not a comfortable thing, it's not something you want to be sitting in paddling constantly all day, but they utilizing that extra buoyancy in the RTC area really does change the layout of this pack raft and how comfy it is and how it sits and paddles in the water as well. It really, really does. First couple of times I was using it without the extra buoyancy and it was quite uncomfortable. The stern was really quite low, the bow was quite high, but then after flipping it around, utilizing that extra buoyancy in the RTC area, it really makes this pack raft a delight to paddle. And I can see myself paddling this for a couple of hours in a day. Right, there we go. So thank you for watching a short little overview of the Amphibio Nano RTC. It's a brilliant little pack raft. It really has. It has grown on me loads. I love the fact that it's lightweight, it's packable. You can shove all your gear inside of it and it paddles really comfy as well. It's not the sort of thing you want to be spending all day in, but it definitely has its uses. So I'll stick a link to the product in the description there. Uh, so please do follow that along and go have a look at the product on the Amphibio website. Thank you for watching this short little review. My name is Martin and I'm into my hiking, fishing and bushcraft and just generally being outdoors so please do follow along and we'll catch you next time on the next one